Isang magandang biyernes sa ating lahat. Hello there. Ito po ang yung at Benji Chodoro. Biyernes na po at uh, August 6. Ako po ay isang retired bank officer who started investing in the Philippine stock market in 2007. And I do this daily report. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. I started po last year. If you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And if you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed, please comment on the comment box and I will prioritize. We have a special report on the Philippine schedule on the Olympics and our financial news is on ASEN and Converge at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw. Ika-anim ng Agosto 2021 dito lamang sa The stock market today, let's start. Okay, let's take a look at the Philippine schedule. Ang schedule po today is golf lamang po. And this is already round 3. Leading is uh, USA's Nelly Corda. Women's golf po ito, no? Minus 15 or 15 under par. Nasa 14th hole na po siya. Followed by Japan's uh, Mone Inami. Then, tied for third place are Hannah Green of Australia, Chris, Emily Christine Peder, Pedersen of Denmark, and India's Aditi Ashok. Now, see si Yuka Sasso went up. He is now num, tied for 20th place at um, minus 4 or 4 under par. And... Um, he is tied with uh, Jessica Corda and uh, France, Sweden, and uh, Germany. While si Bianca Pagdanganan is tied for 30th place at 2 under par. Yun po ang status. At uh, si Yuka Sasso ay natapos na ba? Natapos na yata ito, no? Natapos na siya. Si Bianca Pagdanganan is also finished while the leader is still at the 15th, sorry, at the 14th hole. Now, our schedule for tomorrow, Saturday, would be, that would be the finals of the men's flyweight. Featuring our very own Carlo Paalam against uh, Great Britain's Galal Yafai. Panoorin po natin to, 1400 Tokyo time. That's 1300 or 1 p.m. in the afternoon. So I think this will be covered uh, live. So yung uh, kung meron po kayong uh, TV5 or One Sports Plus, no? Or kung meron po kayong uh, smart data or smart po ang telepono nyo, just use your smart data and you can view this uh, fight finals live. So this is for the goal. So let's now go to our news. Our news is basically on from the Philippine Star, but may I share with you Mona the headlines of uh, may mga reports na po mga companies na po. And as you will see, I uh, may earnings report na po. First is Tel, which reported an earnings first half earnings of 15.2 billion up. 10% year on year. ICT also reported a profits surge of uh, 73% year on year first half. And uh, FB, San Miguel Foods. Tama ba? Is this San Miguel Foods? FB? San Miguel Foods and Beverages, first half 21 profits up 137%. SMC reported a first up 21 headline net income of 21.6 billion. RLC or Robinson's Land reported a first up income of 48% up year on year to 5.5 billion. And our top news, ASEN and Converge, are the new index stocks. So let's uh, now go to that news item. AC Energy Converge Joint PSEI Replacing DMCI and Emperador. AC Energy Corp and Converge ICT Solutions will join the 30-member Philippine Stock Exchange Index. In a statement on Thursday, the operator of the local bourse said the two companies' membership in PSEI will be effective August 16. They will replace DMCI 
Holdings and Emperor Inc. So very short-lived lang yung Emperor, no? I think one year lang yung kanyang pagiging index stock. Companies that qualify for inclusion in the PSEI should have a free float level of at least 15% ranks among the top 25 by medium daily value for at least 9 out of 12 months and has one of the highest market capitalization. The PSE also looks into the financial strength of companies. But perhaps the most striking result of the review was the inclusion of Converge in the main index. So very surprising to dahil wala pa itong one year, no po? Which raised 29.1 billion during its jumbo maiden share in October last year. So wala pang one year. A blue chip company despite not having met the previous criterion that requires at least 12 months of trading before becoming a candidate to the PSEI. Meanwhile, an upcoming policy amendment involves requir requiring listed companies that want to be included in the PSE indices to increase their free float level to at least 20% from the current level of 15% so that rules will be consistent with the requirement for firms conducting with initial public offering to have a minimum public ownership of at least 20%. I think tama itong rule na ito. Kasi pagka-IPO, 20% po eh. The amendment policy will be implemented in December 2022. Index review to give companies ample time to satisfy this criterion. Since newly listed companies are mandated to have 20% free float level, this was a necessary adjustment to our index requirements, PSP President and CEO Ramon Monson said. Companies who want to consistently be or aspire to be become part of the index should make sure their public float companies, if not exceeds minimum level required with the SEC of newly listed companies, Monson added. Apart from the main index, sectoral counters will also undergo a rebound. RCBC will be taken off the financial index, while the industrial index will see the addition of Alsons. Consolidated Resources and the removal of EEI Corp, Shakey's Pizza, and Phoenix Petroleum Philippines. Abacor Capital Holdings will join the holdings firm counter, while Lopez Holdings Corp will be evicted. Two companies will leave the property index, namely Arsaland Corp and DM Wenceslao. Converge and Premier Horizon Alliance Corp will be added to the services index, replacing STI and Harbor Star Shipping Services. Joining the Mining and Oil Index are Ast Atlas, Mining, Mark Ventures Holding, and Oriental Petroleum Resources Corp. So that's our news for the day, including uh, the headlines of uh, fi the financials of um, most of the index stocks or key index stocks. And now let's take a look at what happened to the Philippine Stock Exchange index okay the PSEI slightly lost 7.36 almost flat 0.11% understandably it's a Friday but the good news is we have two stocks surging in the index so the Philippine stock market ended at 6539.91 down 0.11% we'll take a look at the market activity 117 advanced 76 declined while 37 companies remained unchanged the all share index on the other hand moved up 0.32 percent pwede po mangyari yan ano po? yung all shares moving up while the psei moves down you know the sectoral indices the financials and uh, services are up while the holding companies industrials mining and properties are down now for the top 10 we'll be reviewing ASEN, Converge, Ali, ICT, Monde, DMC, Glow, SM, LTG, and TEL. So let's now go to ASEN. Okay, ASEN is surging 9.15.41 centavos or 41 centavos up. And this is uh, the all-time high, I think. No, 10.09 is the all-time high, but it's reaching already some sort of peak, you know. With resistance here at 
8.87 dating support po niya and a few days ago i told you that asen and monde are strong candidates for index stocks on nakatotoo na po kay asen ano po and converge and then converge kaya po siya nagsosor kasi na add po siya sa index eh. yan no mayroong volume and it ended at 26.65 ano si converge all time high po ito yung 27.10 which it reached today meanwhile support is here at uh, 24 at uh, the 24 pesos area and then we have Ali okay Ali continued to slump losing 20 centavos at 32.30 bearish pa po yung kanyang sentiment support level po ito at uh, 32 pesos yung support level po niya and then ICT ICT ting ko yan tumataas siya and fantastic pong earnings ni ICT 184 na po siya with support at this area po at 168 to 100 168 pesos po yung support and then Monday candidate po ito for index stock pero bago pa lang po ito eh. so based on the short term indicator it is bullish ending at 15.70 gaining 40 centavos with support is here at 14.70 to 14.80 and then DMC ito yung nawala ng play sa index nag slump siya at 5.73 pero time to buy po ito kasi DMC maganda po magbigay ng dividendo yan so bearish po ang kanyang sentiment with RSI at 38 and then glow wow look at that nag sosor si glow with ending at uh, 1985 gaining 49 centavos so meron siyang dividends and I think that's the reason kung bakit 27 centavos X date is August 16 payment date is September 3 so 27 pesos pala so 27 pesos per share and that's uh, medyo malaki now it is at support resistance level support is here at this uh, 1860 level then we have SM okay SM is also moving sideways ending plot at 963 bearish to sideways po ang kanyang movement and then Lushitan naku bearish po siya pero ito po yung maganda sa stock eh pagka bearish pong ganito ay maganda pong bumili especially kung nako-consolidate na ganito so oversold the oversold po siya at 21 so napaka baba po ng stock na ang potential ay mga 16 16 17 pesos no i'm not very sure but yan po yung fundamentals fundamental target price ni LTG finally we have tel ending at uh, 12.75 gaining 1 peso still mababa po ito at meron po siyang dividends ang dividends po niya ay 42 pesos per share so support level is at 12.20 to 12.30 pesos pero bearish to sideways po ang kanyang movement but uh, this looks promising as there are 3 successive candlesticks yan po ang ating report so stock market August 6, 2021 big day tomorrow for boxing Carlo Paalam against uh, Great Britain nanod po tayo 1pm Philippine time let's cheer for our athletes An investment in knowledge pays the best interest hanggang sa muli thank you and happy weekend bye for now